Welcome back to EM Spanish. Today we'll be covering the history of present illness. I'm your host, Professor Sancho. Before we begin, a few quick words to absolve myself of any responsibility. The views and opinions expressed in these podcasts are mine and mine alone. Additionally, these should not replace the use of licensed interpreters in patient care, and we can't make any warranty over errors, omissions, or consequences from their use. So, a brief overview of today's lesson. We'll be covering OP QRST to go over the HPI, as well as brief snippets from the history that could be pertinent by going over an ample history. Over the next few episodes, we'll be covering review of systems, as well as phrases for physical exam, as well as disposition when interacting with patients. So, let's begin. To start an HPI, you can ask the patient, why are you here? ¿Por qué está aquí? Why are you here? ¿Por qué está aquí? What is your name? ¿Cómo se llama? What is your name? ¿Cómo se llama? So, moving on to the onset of their chief complaint. When did this start? ¿Cuándo comenzó? When did this start? Cuando comenzó? Sudden. De repente. Sudden. De repente. An alternative way to say this is de pronto. And honestly, I'm more familiar with the de repente, so I'd love to hear back if anyone has a different way of saying this. Gradually. Gradualmente. Gradually. Gradualmente. Again, an adverb. How did the pain begin? ¿Cómo empezó el dolor? How did the pain begin? ¿Cómo empezó el dolor? Have you had this before? ¿Lo ha tenido antes? Have you had this before? ¿Lo ha tenido antes? Moving on to provocation or palliation. Anything make it better? Algo lo hace mejor? Anything make it better? Algo lo hace mejor? Anything make it worse? Algo lo hace peor? Anything make it worse? Algo lo hace peor? Does blank help or worsen? So, blank, and then for help, ayuda. So, blank, ayuda. To go over worsen, empeora. Worsen, empeora. So, place the word that you're thinking of for the either helping or hurting action, and then place it before either of these words for ayuda, for help, or empeora for worsen. So, what were you doing when the pain began? ¿Qué hacía usted cuando empezó el dolor? What were you doing when the pain began? ¿Qué hacía usted cuando empezó el dolor? Movement. Movimiento. Movement. Movimiento, pressure, presión, pressure, presión, exercise, ejercicio, exercise, ejercicio, sleeping, dormirse, sleeping, dormirse. Eating, comer, eating, comer, walking, caminar, walking, caminar, after eating, después de comer, after eating, después de comer, after moving bowels, después de hacer caca. After moving bowels, 
después de hacer caca. An interesting note is that my roommate and I actually got into disagreement over the proper use of saying poop or stool or excrement. So if you have an opinion based on what's less vulgar or more vulgar, caca is perhaps more informal, however is universally understood in most scenarios, as opposed to words such as excremento. So, moving on. To describe the quality of pain, so describe the pain. Describa el dolor. Describe the pain. Describa el dolor. Keeping in mind that we're using the usted or formal commands when asking these questions. Sharp. Agudo. Sharp. Agudo. Stabbing. Ponzante. Bram, bram, bram. Stabbing. Ponzante. Dull. Sordo. Dull. Sordo. Pulsating. Pulsativo. Pulsating. Pulsativo. Crushing. Aplastante. Crushing. Aplastante. Aching. Doloroso. Aching. Doloroso. Deep. Profundo. Deep. Profundo. Pressure. Presión. Pressure. Presión. Tightness. Tensión. Tightness. Tensión. Menstrual pain. Dolor menstrual. Menstrual pain. Dolor menstrual. Where does it hurt? Donde le duele? Where does it hurt? Donde le duele? Radiates. Irradia? Radiates. Irradia? Keeping in mind that there are two R's or a doble R in this word, irradia. If you have trouble rolling your R's, you can just practice or it should be understood in the context of the scenario. Show me where. Enseñame donde. Show me where. Enseñame donde. Has the pain migrated? Ha emigrado el dolor? Has the pain migrated? Ha emigrado el dolor? Does the pain radiate elsewhere? El dolor irradia a otra parte? Does the pain radiate elsewhere? El dolor irradia a otra parte. So to go over severity of the pain, a little, un poco, a little, un poco, alternatively, un poquito. So moderate, moderado, moderate, moderado, a lot, mucho, a oh, lot, mucho, strong, fuerte, strong, fuerte. On a scale of 1 to 10, sobre una escala de 1 a 10, on a scale of 1 to 10, sobre una escala de 1 a 10. How long does it last? Cuánto tiempo dura? How long does it last? Cuánto tiempo dura? Since when? Desde cuándo? Since when? Desde cuándo? Since. Desde. Since. Desde. And very quickly, we'll be going over different ways to 
keep time, even though this is very basic Spanish and can be found in a variety of online resources. Yesterday, ayer, today, hoy, tomorrow, mañana, morning, additionally, is also mañana. So does that mean tomorrow morning is mañana mañana? Noon, mediodía. Afternoon, tarde. Night, noche. Midnight, media noche. How many? Cuantos. How many? Cuantos. Years, años. Keeping in mind that if you say anos, you are saying anuses. So that little squiggly mark over the N, also known as a tilde, is very important. So years, años. Months, meses. Weeks, semanas. Days, días. Hours, horas. Minutes, minutos. Seconds, segundos. Before, antes de before, antes de, during, durante, after, después de, after, después de. To describe, to ask a patient, with what frequency? Con qué frecuencia? With what frequency? Con qué frecuencia? Constant? Constante. Constant? Constante. Always. Siempre. Always. Siempre. Chronic. Crónico. Chronic. Crónico. All the time. Todo el tiempo. All the time. Todo el tiempo. Comes and goes. Viene y va. Comes and goes. Viene y va. Intermittent. Intermittente. Intermittent. Intermittente. And for the sample history, we'll again cover a review of systems in a later lecture. Allergies. Alergias. Allergies. Alergias. What happens? ¿Qué ocurre? What happens? ¿Qué ocurre? Difficult to breathe. Difícil respirar. <gasps> Difficult to breathe. Difícil respirar. Rash. Erupción. Rash. Erupción. Swelling. Inchazón. Swelling. Inchazón. What medicines do you take? ¿Qué medicamentos toma usted? What medicines do you take? ¿Qué medicamentos toma usted? Prescription. La receta. Prescription. La receta. Dose. La dosis. Dose. La dosis. When do you take? Cuando toma. When do you take? Cuando toma. How many times? Cuantas veces? How many times? Cuantas veces? Why do you take? Por qué toma? Why do you take? Por qué toma? Do you know the name or number of your pharmacy? Sabe el nombre, número de su farmacia? Do you know the name number of your pharmacy? Sabe el nombre, número 
de su farmacia? Give me the medicine if you have it. Deme la medicina si la trae. Give me the medicine if you have it. Deme la medicina si la trae. Moving on to relevant past medical history. Do you have a history of the following illnesses? Tiene usted una historia de las siguientes enfermedades. Do you have a history of the following illnesses? Tiene usted una historia de las siguientes enfermedades. Hypertension. Alta presión. Hypertension. Alta presión. Alternatively, one can say hipertensión. However, alta presión is more colloquial. A couple of highlights from the past medical history. Heart attack. Ataque de al corazón. Heart attack. Ataque al corazón. Epilepsy. Epilepsia. Epilepsy. Epilepsia. Diabetes. 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 Clots. Coagulos. Clots. Coagulos. Cancer. 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 Asthma. 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 Tuberculosis. 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 AIDS. Sida. AIDS. Sida. Hepatitis. Epa hepatitis. 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 Vaccines. Vacunas. Vaccines. Vacunas. Thyroid disease. Enfermedad de la tiroides. Thyroid disease. Enfermedad de la tiroides. To go over, briefly over past surgical history, to ask surgeries, cirugías, surgeries, cirugías, complications, complicaciones, complications, complicaciones. To ask about a scar or to point to their body about a scar, one would refer to it by Cicatriz. So, so scar. Cicatriz. Recently in the hospital. Recientemente en el hospital. Recently in the hospital. Recientemente en el hospital. Last oral intake. Ha tomado algo. Have you taken anything? Ha tomado algo, for have you taken anything? Have you eaten or had anything to drink in the past blank hours? So, ha comido o bebido algo en las últimas blank horas? So, have you eaten or had anything to drink in the past blank hours? Ha comido o bebido algo en las últimas blank horas, inserting the number of your choice. And for events leading to illness, what were you doing before? ¿Qué hacía usted antes? What were you doing before? ¿Qué hacía usted antes? 
keeping in mind to try using the vocabulary you learned in the provocation and palliation section. And I have to use the banyo, so that'll be all for today. Uh, next time we'll be going over some family as well as social history to finish up the HPI. And additionally we'll be going over various phrases you can use for a thorough physical exam, as well as finishing up with ways to express to the patient a couple of basic disposition phrases, such as going to the pharmacy or needing a sample of urine or blood. So, and a quick reminder, please fill out the survey that's in the description below. It helps me greatly to graduate, and thank you for filling in. Again, if you have any feedback about these lessons or podcasts or even topics that you'd like to see, please leave a note in the comment section. So thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on EM Spanish.